Welcome back to the CCS vlog. It's been a while, but we've made a lot of progress on some really cool builds. To my left, we have Good Metal. And to my right, we have Bad Metal, but now Good Metal, because we've replaced absolutely all the metal. Anyway, this 68 Chevelle was up rusty, but our customer and since high school decided to have it redone. It's, got, it's on an Art Morrison chassis, and as I previously stated, it has almost all new metal. We kept the roof, but we've replaced the doors, the rockers, the fenders, the quarters, full floors. Now it's all rust-free. The passenger side of the car is all done now. So we've got to finish up the driver's side, but we've got it all braced up so nothing's moving around. And Chris and Jake have been working on it diligently. So after this, we can start doing some body work to it and get it going. But it, uh, it's got a lot of nice parts, it has an LSA engine. It's got a six speed transmission. Again, it's got the Art Morrison chassis. So, be cool to get this one done. Customer's been waiting years. And then on the 68 Charger, this is a really cool older restoration. It had been done for over 20 years and our customers owned it that whole time. So it had very, very nice paint and compared to many older builds, everything was, everything had really held up well, but as with most of these things, you're always afraid of what it's gonna look like when you strip it down to bare metal. But this one is one of the nicest original bare metal bodies that I've ever seen. It has a few dents in it, but no damage really. Um, As you can see, the sides are really straight and nice. It had minimal filler in it, just really to get the panels straight. No replacement panels, no welded in spots, no pieces of stop sign, none of the terrible stuff you see. You can see all the original spot welds on it. Nothing was gooped up, nothing was covered up. All the metal is just super nice and crisp, so it's nice to see that because usually we find a bunch of bad news, but this, this body is just really, really nice. The driver's side rear quarter panel had a dent in it, and on the back corner, it had a few little dents where maybe somebody had backed into something, but the rest of it's just mint, so couldn't ask for a better car. This one is going on a Roadster Shop fast track chassis. We've got the chassis here, um, and in order to stall that, we have to cut out the floor, so we will be bracing this thing up and cutting out the floor soon, getting it down on the new chassis and kind of start, start looking at some, some wheel and tire packages for it, get the stance right, and we'll be going from there, so. To my left, we have a really cool project. It's a 67 Fairlane, the GT model. It's on a Roja Shop fast track chassis and Typical to most of these, it did have some rust, so we've got new quarters on the rear. We've got the floors cut out because you cut the floors out to do the chassis on these. It has the Godzilla Ford engine, which is cool. Not cool, there's not a lot of parts available for it, so we're kind of moving at a snail's pace, just putting that stuff together. But it is getting a supercharger. Initially, customer wanted to do an automatic transmission, that automatic transmission was so large, we have sent it back, and now we have a T56 six-speed, which is much better, smaller transmission tunnel. Half of that interior was taken up by what would have been the transmission tunnel on this, so um, it's gonna be a really cool build. We're thinking with a couple different colors at the moment. We kind of have a burnt orange and a grayish blue. I'm leaning towards the grayish blue. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. But really nice chassis. Gonna drive like a nice handling, more modern, sporty feel than these things would have ever had. So, pretty sweet. 
again kind of moving slow on the engine part but now that we've got our new transmission and we can get everything mocked up and hopefully next time we do this we'll have a blower we can talk more about that when it happens but we do a lot of gm stuff so it's nice to dabble with the ford unlike the other vehicles we talked about we're just finishing up this 66 chevelle the customers in las vegas and one of the most important parts of the build is putting on test miles, get a lot of parts, put them all together, and not always gonna work that well. So you gotta drive and drive in a lot of different situations to see if you can make something fail, leak, not work, whatever it takes. So at the moment we do about 500 test miles on every single vehicle that we build. We found that's the amount of time it takes to sort out all the issues. Usually get rid of them, you know, most first 100 miles usually left with a couple stragglers, just stuff that doesn't work quite right. Weird rattles, electrical stuff, whatever it might be, but doing the test drive is important. It allows us to sort everything out. This is an LS3. You got custom engine panels throughout this one. We dropped the core support down to give it a nice flow into the engine compartment. Usually the core support comes up pretty high so nice clean all finished custom metal stuff we also build them so it comes apart easily so you can work on them the interior is 90 percent assembled um, we did all the interior work in-house handmade door panels handmade dash we've got classic instrument gauges cnc stitch pattern inside here Handmade center console, it's got some nice curves to it. So really more on the luxurious end of a, an automotive interior, especially in a muscle car, but I find most people wanna go out and cruise and relax, so it works quite well. We've got shot wheels all the way around, wheel wood brakes. This one's on a Roadster Shop chassis. It's a spec chassis. You can see how we have our trunk set up. Um, got our kicker amps, Odyssey battery in the middle, and we hold everything together with these magnets. It's a nice way to secure the panels. The clips usually tend to get bent and fail and have to be replaced, whereas the magnets go on nice and clean. They don't fail. It's hard to bend a big magnet. so. Advanced plating did all of the chrome on it and all the trim, and it turned out really well. So super sharp, clean car. Hope the customer drives it a lot. Been working on some interior styling cues on the 56 Ford. Mark and Scott have been hauling ass on this thing, but a lot of work has been done. So come on over here, Tim. So we've got our stereo equipment from Kicker behind the back seat on that wall. And then the subs, there's a sub box built into the frame of the seat. So we'll have our subs under there. The stereo should sound really, really good in here. Um, kind of coming around. Have a hand-built all metal center console you step back a little bit, you can get a really good view. So, Tim likes to get it from the other side. I don't know what that means, really. So this was gonna originally be made out of ABS, but Scott got creative with it and turned out this killer console. So, we think we're going to leave metal on the top, like a painted metal finish on the top, and then we'll run leather up halfway on the bottom. And then the dash turned out really clean, so we've got an all smooth dash, and it blends into the doors, which is work that's still being completed. Um, but we have a Classic Instruments, I mean, Dakota Digital, sorry, Classic Instruments. We've got a Dakota, Di Dakota Digital panel here, and then we've got this nice surround that that was made for it. Um, under dash closeouts here should be 
should be nice and clean and it's gonna look just killer when it's finished. So we have the front seats foamed out. Laura's finished with those. We haven't started wrapping anything yet and um, we'll be off to the races. So we're really excited about this build. It's just over the top, wild, handmade stuff everywhere. A lot of, cu lot of custom work and the engine should be here from D and J and it's a 24 valve Cummins, which will make over a thousand horsepower and almost 2000 foot pounds of torque. So it should be a bit of a monster, but very cruisable. So I want to build something as always that people are going to drive and can be reliable for them. So. The bed is all finished as well and also actually painted, but we'll catch that on the next one. It's pretty wild looking. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to do another vlog soon, show you some more build progress. Uh, we've got so many full builds going on at the moment and so many in line. So we've got no end of cool stuff to show you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow. Are there any other options? That's it. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.